In this video, we'll compare versions of the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew and Luke. First, go to the Tools menu and notice the list of interactive tools to the right. Then scroll down to the bottom of the list and choose to open all of your interactive resources. From the list that appears, click to open the title Parallel Gospel Reader. Then choose to open the tool in a floating window to maximize your view. Now, if you're familiar with traditional Harmony resources, then you know how they work. They allow you to compare the same story in multiple texts side by side. Some Harmony resources compare accounts from all four Gospel accounts, and others just focus on the Synoptic Gospels. The Parallel Gospel Reader lets you do both. Note that at the top of the resource, we have a reference box, then the option to adjust the version or translation of the text that appears. We can choose an English translation or our favorite Greek version. Below that, we have a list of resources that have been incorporated into this interactive tool. You'll notice that the list is fairly extensive and includes the top Gospel Harmony resources. My personal favorite, and still the standard among students and scholars, is A.T. Robertson's A Harmony of the Gospel. So I'll choose this text for my example. This action changes the layout of my interactive tool to fit Robertson's text. Now input Matthew 5 into the reference box to see similarities between the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew and Luke's Gospel. To the far right, we can customize our view so that we're only comparing these parallel accounts. Click the View dropdown and uncheck Mark and John. Now we're ready to compare. Note that in the introduction to the Sermon on the Mount, also known as the Beatitudes, there's a certain amount of similarity in the Gospel of Luke. Matthew 5, 3-12 tightly corresponds with Luke 6, 20-26. To view the text, click the small blue arrow left of the section title. You'll notice in this famous section of Matthew's Gospel, we have four of the Beatitudes repeated in the Gospel of Luke. A major difference between these accounts occurs in the preceding section. Expand the section labeled The Place and the Audience. Then notice that Matthew says Jesus went up on a mountain, and when he sat, his disciples came to him, and he taught them. In Luke, we read that Jesus came down and stood on a level place with a great multitude before him. While some scholars debate the significance of this textual difference, it's commonly held that Matthew intentionally portrayed Jesus as the second Moses through parallel traits and experiences. And like Moses in the Old Testament, Jesus climbed the mountain to teach the people the word of the Lord. The parallel gospel reader is the best way to find and compare the same story in different gospel accounts.